Good to see you. Good, good to see you, John. So I wanted us to get together and talk because you have an exhibition of recent work coming up at the center from March 12th to May 1st in the Beto Gallery, which is the gallery where Beatrice Wood exhibited her work and where you came and you met her. Yeah, I'm super excited about our exhibition, Kevin. I want to thank you so much for the opportunity to come back again in the Beto Gallery. Um, I'm, I'm excited to share the new work that I've been working on which is uh, some uh, mainly stoneware, high fire ceramics, a, a mixture of wood fired and glazed, uh, you know, reduction fired ceramics with a little bit of also some Raku for, as an homage to uh, the luster interests that I also share with uh, Beto. Your last exhibition was a hit. It sold well. People connected with the work and that was nice so, because, you know, there's so much in the art world that utilizes scale, color, shock, humor, um, a lot of it really being over the top in order to get attention. And the aesthetic you embrace is so much quieter. And I have to say that I feel that there's hope for the world when people see the beauty and the subtle, simple experiences that life offers. Well, yeah, I was, I was pleased with that, Kevin, because you know I'm, I don't live in Ojai, so I don't have a big audience there. So it was a good beginning. And we met some wonderful people um, who came up from LA and who were also in the Ojai Valley area. So um, it was a real treat. And so I hope that we can build on that and um, you know, keep, share, share the love and keep, keep, keep it growing. You are also presenting a two-day workshop titled Finding Voice, Clay Vessels and Objects. Uh, it'll be on Saturday and Sunday, March 12th and 13th. I'm wondering if you can let potential participants know what they should expect. We will be working with different clay bodies, um, working with different functional and sculptural forming techniques. Um, there's, you know, the studios, it's a magical place and it's a real gift and privilege to be able to work in there for, for me and for, for the guests who, who come. And so we will make sure that we have a safe workshop where it's inspiring, educational, informative, and encouraging and also fun. So we're gonna have fun in the, with clay, but also learning and developing our, our, our voice. And because clay is like that, it's, it's so many ways, everyone shares and, and brings their, their own voice to clay. And, let, and so that's gonna be what I wanna encourage um, at this workshop. Yeah, and, and, we, and we're opening the workshop up to all levels. So there'll be people coming in that have, are relatively in, inexperienced, but then you'll have some people that have more experience and will be more exposed to some of the aesthetics and uh, techniques that you're familiar with. Right, I mean, I think that's great that we can open it up to various levels. Um, I think the young, younger you know, people who are starting out or even people who are older who are just starting out can, um, have a lot to share with those who are more advanced and, and seasoned. So we've had in the past when we've done workshops at, at the at the center, we've included Besson Hill students and and that's been, you know, it's been a treat for everyone. So we'll see how it goes. Um, you know, people are a little anxious with COVID, but we'll we definitely are we'll practice safe protocols. And I'm used to that now. Yes. Having teaching at a college with lots of uh, germy college students you know, <laughs> wearing a mask. It's tiring, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll make it work and it'll be um, a great opportunity to, to come to Ojai and, and, and work with you and, and, and the folks who, who want to come. Yep, yep, I, yep. I know we'll have some people there, but I, I went back and I saw that photo from the one workshop. We had a lot of participants on your last one. We workshop. did, we did, it was great. Um, we don't want, I mean, it's better not to have it too big. We want, you know, we want the right happy medium. So um, yeah, it'll be a special, it'll be a real special event. And we, you know, the weather will be, will be perfect and uh, we should, we should be fine. Um, We'll have some different types of, um, if, if, you know, we'll be working, if people want to focus on hand building, that's fine. Um, we can work with different slips and clays and we'll see how that goes. All right. You are, of course, a studio artist, but uh, 
you're a man that wears many hats. You're a professor. You have a day job. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I, I do. I love to teach. I, I'm fortunate to have a, a day job that fits in with my my way of life. And um, so, yeah, teaching, I'm sort of, I'm the in charge of the ceramics program at Colby Sawyer, which is in New London, New Hampshire, near the Vermont border. Um, and I am also involved with teaching the Asian art history classes at the non-Western component of the curriculum of, of art history. And then also uh, the gallery. I, I also run the gallery at the college like, like you do at Vitos. So that's exciting to, to bring together artists and encourage those, those shows that we do. Yeah, so it's, it's a small school and uh, it, it's, it's, it works out really nicely. So it's nice to be able to work with the next generation and, and help you know, inspire them towards new levels. And uh, we're having a lot of interest in, in clay these days and can't keep up with it. So it's pretty exciting and gratifying. Who, who would have thought it'd become trendy? I know, I know. It's Yeah, we, we, we're trying to keep up with it. And we're very fortunate because there's been some really generous people who have really supported the program. And so I'm very grateful to them for helping us keep it going. Cause that's, that's what we need. We need patrons. And, mm -hmm. and so, uh, yeah, things are good. And I hope we can really generate more support uh, for the center. Cause you're doing great work out there, Kevin. It's, it's really admirable. Oh. I really respect what you're doing. Yeah, uh, thanks, John. There's a lot of clay work, a lot of opportunities blending it all together. You know, whether it's drawing or painting or cultural studies, music, it's all related. It's all about expression and creativity. So, and Beto loved that. And so we're paying, it feels good to be paying homage and supporting it with that mission. Yeah, and we love having you involved. Um, ah. <laughs> so yes. your work, as well as some of the approaches you'll be talking about and sharing in the workshop um, are informed largely by Asian aesthetics. Can you give us some information about your history with Japan? Sure, sure, I'd be happy to. Um, yeah, so what happened was, you know, I think it related from the childhood, you know, exposure to clay in India. And then my dad was in the State Department, so he moved my family around a lot growing up. And so we moved on to uh, Thailand after India and Laos. And this was during the, you know, in the 70s, uh, 60s and 70s. I'm, I'm dating myself here, but um, but then then I got interested in came, come college. I was became interested in Asian studies with you know especially Japan because of the ceramic tradition particularly, and um, I would just I loved the ceramics of Japan. Um, you know, you go around the country um, in Japan, and there's basically villages or towns or kilns specific. You know throughout the countryside, thousands of them with distinct styles. So I became really interested in the different uh, types of wares being produced, um, traditional as well as contemporary. And that just, you know, I did a junior year abroad where I did Japanese language and Buddhism and literature and ceramics and all that. And then I continued on working in clay and then I decided to go back for graduate studies in Kyoto, both times. It's usually Kyoto as being my base. And I studied there uh, in the graduate program at the Kyoto University of Art. And then subsequently, I was able to keep going back for exhibitions and, and you know presentations or workshops. And also was fortunate to get a, a couple of Fulbrights, which led me to Tokyo University of the Arts, as well as Seika University of the Arts in um, Kyoto. So yeah, so that was a fantastic experience. And then that led to them coming here and more students. So it's been a fun exchange. And so we try to keep that going um, when we can. Yeah, the main thing is to have some fun and to express and to, you know, come together. And that's the nice thing about clay. You know, it really brings us together, the community of, of people. It's collaborative. And, and uh, 
we're not we're not competitors we're just we're on the same journey on the same path so i i feel that it's a real gift you know